Hi guys, I guess every one of you knows Microsoft, the big company behind Windows, Microsoft Teams, Edge, GitHub, OneDrive, Office and so on. But in the last couple of years, Microsoft got bad news about all the services, also of their restrictions and also for example, the new announced feature that Microsoft will record everything you do on your Windows PC and also on other services. How can we get away from it? What are the alternatives to various Microsoft products? In this video, I'm going to show you many of them and I want to talk about how well these alternatives are fitting and what's the actual status about them. So I would say, let's start with Microsoft Windows. Yes, this is a Linux channel. So of course I would suggest using Linux Mint instead of Microsoft Windows, because in my opinion, this is the best distribution for beginners with Linux, also with experienced users who just want to get their work done. It's a very stable operating system with a clean modern desktop. So if you want to move away from Windows, then Linux Mint will be my absolute recommendation for you. But if you switch from Windows to Linux, then many applications aren't working on your Linux machine, which you got used to them. For example, Microsoft Office. At this point, I'm gonna consider Microsoft Word, Excel and PowerPoint, which are good alternatives. There are different possibilities. One of them is WPS Office. It also comes with PDF writer spreadsheet and presentation, but this isn't open source. I personally don't use it. What I personally use is LibreOffice, which is complete open source developed by the Document Foundation, which is a really true open and free software project, which I can recommend you if you don't rely on Microsoft Word format, for example because LibreOffice handles their own standard really good, the open document format. But when it comes to proprietary file formats, such as DocX, Excel or PowerPoint, then LibreOffice doesn't handle this quite well. Another alternative, which is also running on Linux, but also on Windows, for example, or even Mac and Android, I guess, is SoftMaker Office. There is a free variant with SoftMaker Free Office. It has a very high compatibility to the Microsoft Word formats. So if you're using Linux and LibreOffice isn't enough for you in terms of file compatibility, then definitely have a look at SoftMaker Free Office or SoftMaker Office, which is then the paid version and brings some more features with it. So yeah, that's to the Office software. Let's come to another software which many companies are using or also universities and schools and this is microsoft teams it's a great collaboration platform and i would say yeah microsoft does this very well but what is the alternative to it at first we don't have a complete fitting alternative for all features which are coming with it the best alternative to microsoft teams i guess would be nextcloud which you can also consider as a open source OneDrive, Dropbox or Google Drive. It also has many collaboration features, which is great for small teams. But if you want to grow bigger, then the cloud for the files in Nextcloud is one of the key elements of Nextcloud and Nextcloud does this re really good. But in terms of collaboration, for example, chats, meetings and so on, I wouldn't consider it as the best alternative. Additionally, I would recommend you Element, to stay always connected with your team members, you can also consider it as an alternative to Discord, WhatsApp, Facebook messages, or something like this. You have great chat functionality in the browser, also at the smartphone or at your desktop. It relies on the open metrics protocol where you can collaborate with your team members and also even other servers and companies, which is really great. And if you just need to make online meetings, then I can recommend you Jitsi. It's also a free video conferencing platform, which has all the stuff you need. For example, breakout rooms, surveys, screen share, password protection if you want, and many more features. And it's very easy to handle. You can just start right now using Jitsi and Element. They also have a service at their own, but you can also host this software elements for yourself. 
If you want to see tutorials about these things, then let it me know in the comments. I'm doing very much in this topic also for companies. So let me know it. For Nextcloud, there are also big hosters like for example, Yonos or Hetzner with storage share, which doesn't cost too much and takes you over the control of your own documents. Let's head over to another tool many people are using, which is called Microsoft Edge, the new browser from Microsoft. In my opinion, Microsoft Edge is the browser which sends the most data back to its servers and doesn't care too much about your privacy. And in the end, Microsoft Edge is just a copy of Google Chrome, better to say Chromium, the open source project behind Google Chrome. For example, on Linux, you can install Chromium very quickly through the software manager. And also for Windows, there are builds. Other good browsers are the Brave browser or the good old Mozilla Firefox. If you didn't try out Mozilla Firefox in the last years, then I can really recommend you to give it a new try. Firefox evolved a lot in the last years and is one of the last browsers which aren't using the Chromium engine. So to keep the internet more diversified, then you should choose Firefox over Brave, Chromium, Microsoft Edge and so on. Because I guess with Safari from Mac, these are the only two bigger browsers which have a separate web engine. In my opinion, this is very important to don't let the Chromium family take the monopole. At another point, I would say let's head over to GitHub. GitHub was acquired by Microsoft, I guess in 2018. So it's a bit since then. And I would say GitHub is a great platform not to only host your code, but also to manage your project, to stay in contact with your users and to make great open source software, I would say. Yeah, GitHub is a very nice platform, but also Microsoft stays behind. And if Microsoft wants, they can shut down some services or put some services behind another paywall. So instead using GitHub, Codework could be a great alternative. It is a non-profit organization from Germany based in Berlin, which also has the most important features to host your project and to stay connected with your community. So just have a look at it. If you didn't know about it, I am personally from Germany and I know a lot of developers which are using Codeberg and are very happy with this free platform. This is open to everyone. But then you are also in some kind of dependency of another organization. You can also host your own GitHub, I would say, and this is called gitlab.com. Maybe you heard about it. I won't use the GitLab service from gitlab.com because they also offer some managed hosting. I personally would host GitLab myself on my own server. Then you have no dependency at all. And many companies and organizations I work for are using already GitLab in their own intranet to host their software projects and to collaborate in teams when they are developing new software. Also, let's have a look to Outlook. Outlook is a great messaging platform and also a bit like collaboration tool. We see also there something like Microsoft to do and such things. And I personally can recommend you as the best alternative Thunderbird. It is the email client from Mozilla, the Firefox developers and Thunderbird got a complete new UI in the last month and made big steps forward and you can use it very easily in Linux, Windows or Mac. Also, you can collaborate with others by syncing, for example, your Nextcloud calendars. And also Thunderbird even supports some chat software if you want to extend it. But also if you just need a mail client, then Thunderbird is the right choice for you. And in my opinion, it's the best alternative to Outlook. No other free mail client is as strong as Thunderbird. I am personally using Thunderbird all the day and without Thunderbird, my work would be a lot harder. So if you didn't try it out in the last month, feel free to download it. It's very easy to set up. And yeah, you hear it, my absolute recommendation. So yeah, these were many alternatives to some known Microsoft products. There are also some other Microsoft products I considered with some alternatives. Here's the graphic about it. If you want 
to get an overview. Also with not mention Microsoft products in this video. What are your alternatives to some Microsoft product and which product of Microsoft are you loving the most because of its functionality and maybe also ease of use. And in comparison, what's your favorite free alternative, which I mentioned in this video? Let it me know in the comment section. And uh, yeah, this was it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel on Linux Art. Every week a new video about Linux, open source and free software is released. I would be very proud if you become a member of our community and it would be a pleasure to see you also in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.